Hey guys, it's Crystal here with Art It Out, and as you can see on my desk, which is usually pretty messed up, but it's really got a lot of junky, funky fun on my desk. Well, that's because today I'm doing Cindy Utter's monthly challenge, and it was make flowers with non-conventional things, you know, make them with something different than just paper and whatnot. So, I have this <laughs> ball of string my daughter had and just kept balling and balling and balling. Anyway, so I have that and there's no way I'm going through it. So I thought about making, using that kind of as a basis for the flower. That's one I was playing with earlier. Um, and then I used in the middle some of my um, glue bees or a dra crystal, dragonfly crystals, whichever you want to call them, um, that I made um, as the metal here. Um, I've got some buttons, we've got some, all these plasticky type of scraps over here because I've been working on um, some, I'm working on um, stencils for my shop, uh, I've been working on that for a month or two, so, and I have these, I just have a lot of stuff here. So, let's have some fun, okay, this one's kind of section now. Okay, oh, and I have cardboard just from an old piece of trash. So, let's get going. Glue. We need glue guns, guys. You gotta have glue for glue. And you're probably gonna want something to kind of push on. I'm using this old pop bottle that I have. Because I don't want my fingers to be boned any worse than they already get most of the time. And I'm gonna kind of dig in the ball. Put another little thing of glue. Because if you don't get it pretty... Uh, on there, your top's gonna fall off, so. And probably glue my, my table, too. But, you know, that's alright. <laughs> I thought these would look really cool, so. Let's do it. Uh, I'm actually gonna try some of this plastic. This is just, um, stencil material. So. That is all that this little weird stuff is. I'm not gonna go with that. And I've got buttons. Buttons galore. Um, that's not even a quarter of what I own, so. <laughs> Probably not a good thing. I got those when I was. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. So let's have some fun. Make some different looking flowers together. And there you go. Why not? I put a little some of glue here. Um, it's actually a feather. Cool. Some weird little things, guys. And that'd be cool, super awesome, different. Kind of cool, different, neat. Whatever you want to call them. You can even call them ugly if you want. <laughs> but it's a way to use up. In my opinion, it's another great trashy type of treasure you could use. Mm. Yeah. A nice size one. Put it in there a little. Push down. Glue. Glue and push. And try not to keep the nice thing about having nails. You can kind of use those too, guys. <laughs> oh, that one's gonna look cool. Cool. I think that one needs to have like these are from my friend. She sent. We did a swap. She made her some crystal dragonflies. So. I actually cut that one out because I wanted to try it a little bit different. I'm not loving that though. Here we go. Ooh, that'll look pretty. What do you think? Yeah? yeah. I think we're going to take... That work? Ooh. I'm going to take this, cut it in half, and put it above and below. Oh, 
Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm actually showing you this stuff and not out of focus here. Ooh, that looks cool, guys. I like that one. What do you think? And I'm not done with these. I think we're going to add some, probably some, maybe some sparkles or, or some, I have, what is it called? Excuse me. Some glittery stuff we can maybe brush on the outer edges. I don't know yet. I don't know. We're just having fun making them right now. Shoot. I got a lid out there to use, and I'm not using it. Isn't that how it always is? Serves you out. Just hold on, buddy. I'll get it for you in a minute. I'll get it for you in a minute, okay? Give me one second. Sorry, guys. Um, I know these are white. I have a few colored, but I don't have a lot of colored ones, so. It's going to do. Do this, pop, and then put a little dot. That's a simple little one. I like all the stringies kind of coming off. I think it looks cute. Okay, guys, I made some different ones with the thread and the, the button and the, the boingy bling. Excuse me. Well, as I was working on them, I started using more of the sequency stuff and then started just making some cool sequency ones to go with the other ones. So I thought I'd show you how I did that. And this is just a pack, a bag I got from, it's not anytime recent or anything. Um, I got it from Walmart, oh man, uh, last month I think it was, is what it was. Is when everybody was um, doing the shaker bags and I didn't have anything for shaker bags. So I bought, it's just a piece of cardboard guys, so I bought a bag of that stuff at Walmart, I think it's like three or four bucks and you get a huge, it looks really little but once you get it home, <laughs> it uh, really, really uh, makes a lot actually. I have never made the shaker bag because I was actually waiting, I went ahead and ordered off uh, Wish or Aunt AliExpress or whatever, one of the sealer tools for two bucks, you know. So I finally got it. So I gotta make me some, but I'm just so busy with everything else. So there we go. Isn't that how it always is? You have so many, so many projects you wanna do. It's hard getting them all done, isn't it? without moving on to another and another. And then we have a bunch of half-assed projects running around, right? My goal is to not have half any <laughs> running around, so... <laughs> Try to finish up one before I start too many. We don't have the room to do a billion and one, so... See, so yeah, I'm just layering this stuff. Like I said, I used some uh, button on that one and some string. Um, so yeah, I just want to show you. There's another another one I'm type of making. I like it. I need something else though on top or something. Let's see. Do we want to put a little button maybe? Probably. Cute. That works. I know these are all eight buttons, but that's my a lot. This is my kind of my holy mackerel leftover ones, <laughs> and I have more. Black and white, black and white. My colored ones are put in a different jar, so. See, cute. Once it all the way dries, I'll peel that off, so. Cute, right? How fun is that? Cool. But I want to keep making a few more, and then let's do a page together. There right, guys, I'm going to be putting this in my art journal prompt. Or my, oh my goodness. Eh, rewind. <laughs> I'm putting this in my year 2017. 
Um, and as you know, my year 2017 is a um, was a wipe off book I was using, so that's why it's got kind of that. This is just so I'm gonna add a little of my favorite green in here. Um, I don't know why. I just thought I would. I go with where I go. So just wanted to show you what it kind of looked like before I did this. So you could uh, see the magic come alive. <laughs> I'm putting a pretty thick thing in just so because it is literally one page on here, guys. These, my wipe off book was literally a composition notebook. Um, so the pages are pretty thin. And I don't know exactly what I'm going to do besides that, my flowers. So I want to put a good thick coat of gesso. And I thought, why not make it green? Because, you know, flowers, green. Here we go. Alright, I'm going to take a this. And we are going to, I'm just going to start, oh, do some, vineage kind of, make it look cool. I'm loving this look. I just, I don't know, I just really like it. So I'm looking here. I don't, I love these flowers, but I don't really want to use them in this journal because it is going to have the whole year in it. I try to stay away from the fatter type of items in it. So, and I just, I'm not caring for those on it. But I think these with the green background and stuff look cool. So I think we might go with those instead. I had a couple smaller ones, but, hmm, yeah. Now, I love actually how I drew on there, truth be told. I'm thinking maybe we just put the flowers kind of where I put the, the, <laughs> I swear I didn't plan this. The swirl, you know how I did it in the background? I think that might actually look, can I see here? Look pretty cool, actually. Alright, they're not glued down, um, but I am keeping them kind of where I have them, just to have them as a, you can see what's going on. I got my Scribble Sticks by Day and Weekly. Sorry if I said that wrong, out. And I'm just going to kind of play around with these. Um, just maybe... Just play around with them. Make the leaves pop maybe a little more. Um, maybe doodle in the background. I don't know for sure yet. Um, but I don't want to like change out the purple that's coming through. I like that look. So, just a matter of, yeah. Putting some touches here and there and make it a stencil out. I'm not for sure. And I'm sorry for moving you guys around so much. Let's see what that looks like. I'm liking the rest. Really am liking the rest, guys. Kind of looks cute. It, but it needs something else. I just hardboard instead of the kind of foily aluminum, aluminum ish. <laughs> Alright, so I figured I'm going to use these little things. I picked out, of course, I just made a mess. These little bitty ones um, from Out of the Glitter. I think that'll look really cool. It, um, putting them down for. Oh, and I'm going to put two and one there. There you go. See? I think that's going to look really cute, actually. There's just a little bit of a little bitty flower. But I'm needing a faster, faster working thing right now. Yeah. 
And I'll just deal with the... some stamping on here just to fill in a little I think oh, cool that looks cool Cool. So that's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm just kind of quickly scribbling in these circles with this fine line applicator. Got the green in. Added a little bee stamp, guys. I thought I needed this a little something. We're gonna use Fabric Castell, and I'm going to kind of edge the um, edge the uh, edges. It's the edges. Use this on the edges just to darken it up a little bit. And that's be all she wrote. Um, thank you for watching. Thanks to me for a cool idea. Happiness to you all. Go make a mess and don't forget to art it out. Bye guys.